Hi, this is Dr. Jennifer Perry with Kate for Eye Associates, and today we're going to briefly talk about open angle glaucoma. Open angle glaucoma is inherited, meaning we inherited it from a grandparent or a parent. It tends to affect African Americans and Hispanics more than Caucasians, and it's a painless eye disease, therefore it's only diagnosed with an eye exam. Let's talk about how glaucoma affects the eye. We need an pressure in the eye in order for the eye to remain circular like a grape. Without a pressure, it starts to shrivel on itself, similar to a raisin. But sometimes that pressure is too high and it causes damage to the optic nerve. The optic nerve is important because it carries information from our eyeball to our brain so that we can see the world. So when we, as your eye doctor, do a dilated eye exam, we focus on looking at the optic nerve as shown in the above pictures. The optic nerve on the left shows a healthy optic nerve. You've got a whole bunch of orange healthy pink tissue and very little yellow in the center, which is how it's supposed to be. This individual without open angle glaucoma has their complete peripheral vision intact. As we move further along to the right on the screen, you notice that these individuals are losing their orange healthy pink tissue, likely from elevated pressure in the eye, and as that occurs, they lose some of their peripheral vision. The picture on the far right shows a person who has severe extensive glaucoma, which results in extensive loss of their peripheral vision. So how do we treat glaucoma? Well, first of all, we definitely want you to come in for your annual eye exam so we can A, check the pressure in the eye, and B, look at the optic nerve. If you are diagnosed by your physician with glaucoma, our first form of treatment is with eye drops. Eye drops do put the responsibility of you to get the eye, the drop in the eye every day. A second option would be laser. Laser focuses on increasing the amount of holes where fluid leaves the eye, therefore decreasing the eye pressure. And last but certainly not least would be surgery, which again is our last resort as your eye physician. Surgery involves going to the operating room and we enter the eye manually and either insert stents to increase the outflow of the eye, we take out some of the drainage part of the eye, or the more aggressive surgeries include putting drainage tubes into the eye so that fluid can leave the eye via an excess drainage pathway. Make sure you get your annual eye exam and if we notice any symptoms of glaucoma we will certainly test for it and keep you updated. Thanks for watching!